The population of Queen Anne is 24,052. 84.77 of the population is Caucasian, 2.52% of the population is African American, and 6.64% of the population is Asian. Queen Anne sits on the top of the highest hill in the city. It borders located north of downtown Seattle, east of Inner Bay, and West Lake Union. The notable parks in Queen Anne are Cary Park, Kinnear Park, and West Queen Anne Playfield. The hill that became to be known as Queen Anne was formed by the Vashon Glacier more than 13,500 years ago. Originally inhabited by Native Americans of the Shoshone, Duwamish, and Suwamish tribes camped around the base of the hill to gather fish and shellfish and to hunt. Settlements began in the 1800s around the base of Eden Hill, what it was called originally. One of the last neighborhoods in Seattle would be developed because of its steep hills and many people were worried about transportation. From our observations, we could tell that Queen Anne is a very wealthy neighborhood because of the enormous houses and spectacular views of downtown Lake Union and Puget Sound. However, walking on Queen Anne Avenue, we could tell that Queen Anne has a very friendly vibe and the residents all seem to know each other. We noticed that there were a lot of shops that were family owned and that there were a lot of people biking, uh, walking just around the downtown area. Our data did match up with our observations because we found that Queen Anne was one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in Seattle. And we could see that when we were driving by all the houses and the shops. Education in Queen Anne is a barrier for residents who live here due to that all the private schools here are very expensive. They only have one middle school that is public. And also on top of that, the university is also private, which is called Seattle Pacific University. Queen Anne is a very clear and environmentally conscious neighborhood. It is required that everybody sort their trash. And because Queen Anne is within the city limits of Seattle, plastic straws and plastic bags are not allowed, making paper and plant-based disposable products very popular. Transportation is an asset to Queen Anne as it is accessible to everyone and the buses come often and frequently. Today we used the Link and the 13 to get here to Queen Anne and Queen Anne is also a very walkable place. We decided that public parks and green spaces are an asset to the Queen Anne neighborhood because Queen Anne has over 15 public parks and green spaces and the parks are very wheelchair friendly and accessible to families with children and dogs. What is up and check it out. We're back again with another video. This is Carson and this is Eric. Eric. <laughs> this is Eric. And this is Marie. And we're going to... Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, we're going to Queen Anne. Did you forget? <laughs> 